Hi, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to apply the trigonometric identities which is what we have over here how to apply those identities to solve trick equations okay so uh, we have looked at some easier examples and now we are going to be looking at you know um, examples that's a bit harder so here we are supposed to solve this sine of 2x is equal to sine x without using a GDC, okay, without using a graphing calculator. So, and our value of x, the value of x should be between 0 to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's see um, how do we approach this problem. So here, sine 2x, I, uh, I could use this, the first identity, the first double angle identity, I can convert that to 2 sine x cos x. So I'm changing the left hand side, my right hand side stays the same. Right, because that's my that's one of my double angle identity, I'm just going to I'm just going to plug it in right away. Now what what I can do is um, I am what some of you guys might be thinking about dividing both sides by sine x. So I will get sine x and sine x cancels out. I'll get 2 cosine x is equal to 1. Right? However, however, we can't, we cannot do this. We cannot do this. Why? Because, because, so let me just undo all this. Let me just undo all of it. I cannot do that because my sine x my sine x could be zero, right? I cannot do this. I'm just I'm, I'm going to write this in red. Divide sine x. I can't because because my sine x could be my sine x could be zero, right? If it's zero, then I have something over I have something over zero, then I have undefined. So I cannot do that, right? So just to prevent, just to prevent um, messy, messy things from happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the other side. Let me just make sure that you guys get this. I cannot, all right? I can't do that. So instead of dividing both sides, I'm going to move everything to the left. So I have two sine x cos x minus sine x is equal to zero. All right, so instead of, instead of dividing, I'm going to move everything to one side, and now you can see that I can factor this sine x out. Right, I can factor the sine x out. So I'm gonna do that, sine x. If I factor the sine x out, I'll have two cosine x, oh, two cosine x minus one is equal to zero, All right? And then, so now is, a lot easier, so it's either my sine x is equal to zero, or my two cos x minus one is equal to zero. So it's either, it's either this is equal to zero, or this whole chunk is equal to zero, All right? Okay, all right, so sine x is equal to zero, so my x is equal to, uh, my x could be, what can it be? It can be zero degrees, it could be 180 degrees, one, what's this? It could be 180 degrees, what's going on? One, 180 degrees, uh, it could be 360 degrees, right? Because for my sine x, I'm looking at the y coordinate, so it could be zero degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. Now, for two cos x minus one is equal to zero, two cos x is equal to one, so cosine x is equal to half. So cosine x, is, cosine x, I'm talking about my x coordinate, so think about your union circle, um, cosine x is equal to half, your x is equal to 60 degrees, and what else? 
60 degrees and 300 degrees 60 degrees 300 degrees and since since my x my value of x is within that range and all of the angles that are listed here they are all within that range so my x my value of x is equal to 0 0 degrees 180 degrees 360 degrees 60 degrees and 300 degrees so I have five answers okay um, one thing that you guys need to be careful of is this part okay is this part let me just highlight this this okay so if you let's try to approach the problem by doing that so if I do that then you see <coughs> okay I'm gonna use red since we're not supposed to do that I'm gonna do that so if I divide sine x to both sides I'll get 2 cos x is equal to 1 and I will only have 2 cos x is equal to half so which means I will only my x is equal, equal to 60 and 300 right so as you can see I am missing a few angles from there by doing it that way right I hope you guys understood why we can't do this it is just because my sine x could be 0 and if my sine x is 0 0 if this becomes 0 then the whole thing becomes undefined right so that's not that doesn't make sense right so I can't do that all right okay um, I will show you guys another example in the next video. Uh, it will be about proving, and I will see you guys later. Bye.